Hi, everyone. Welcome back. In this demo, we'll be going through connecting to a Windows DNS server. If you've been following along, you've already got Maestro installed and likely some IPAM information uh, either imported or added through the use of the Create button. Uh, just to show you what I kind of have going on on my server here today, um, we'll pop into Server Manager. You can see that I have DNS installed on this Windows 2022 server. If you don't have DNS already installed, you can go to Add Roles and Features. You can do this on any server, right? It doesn't have to be the same server that Maestro Central is installed on. I'm doing that just for sake of simplicity and compactness to show how easy it is and how you don't need much of a footprint to get started here. So in order to install DNS on Windows here, we'll just go to role-based or feature-based installation, click Next, make sure I have the right server selected and click Next. And then you can see I have DNS server installed, but you would just put a check there and click Next all the way through and make sure that you get DNS installed. And then to show you what I kind of have going on already, um, if I look at my uh, forward lookup zones, you can see I have maestro.net in here as one of my DNS zones. So in order to connect to a DNS server, no matter if it's on the same server as your central installation or on a just a different server in your domain, you will go ahead and download and install the uh, server controller here for Windows in this case, obviously. Now that we have it downloaded, we'll go ahead and open the file and it will start to install. Now, the cool thing about Microsoft is that you only have to install one agent on one of your servers in the domain. So you don't actually have to install a Microsoft agent on every single Microsoft DNS and DHCP server, just as long as they can all connect to each other. So we'll go ahead and click next on the install shield, accept the EULA. We can give it a username and an organization. Click next. Uh, choose where you would like it installed to, click Next. We'll do a complete installation and click Install. And click Finish. And that's it. That's uh, as easy as it is to install the agent. Now all we have to go do is go into our uh, Maestro UI, click on Admin, and then under Server Management here, we can click on Add DNS Server. Now our server name is DC1. Our server address is 172.31.17.190. We are using Microsoft. We are going to do uh, not an agent-free installation this time because this is our first one. And then click Confirm. And we'll put first DNS server as our comment. And as you can see, we are up and running. And just to prove that we're up and running, let's go to DNS. And you can see that we've already imported those two forward lookup zones that I showed you earlier. And now we can create any zone that we want. Um, if we want to create maestrotest.net and our master server, and we could have AD integration. We can choose between the forest, uh, DNS servers in the domain, or all domain controllers in the Active Directory domain. So right now I'll leave it at that, um, and we'll click Create and Save. And now you can see I have maestrotest.net, and I can jump in there and create a new record if I want to create, let's say, a blog website give it a time to live and have an address for it. And you can see uh, right here, my address ranges pop up, anything that kind of aligns with that 192.168, and it will go ahead and assign it to uh, the next freely available IP address. We'll go ahead and change that because I know .0 is not going to be one that I want. Um, and in other ways, we can block those uh, from populating .0 or .255. And then in this case, I'm just going to create now. We'll go through add two requests in another video. That's part of our DNS workflow capability. But for now, that's all I have. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next video.